Hello and welcome to Kitty Layton's Kitchen here in Tulla for the Kitchen Sessions live on Claire FM. <laughs> comes really natural to you. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what you had. Yeah, that's what we had. We clear out the kitchen, put everything into the cabin, and then enter in these, uh, they were like uh, leathers, and fill up bags of hay, and lay them all around the house, and they made chairs, soup and chairs, for the great musicians, and they were mighty. So only the good musicians got the chairs? <laughs> well, yeah, because, you know, they were actually clear. And there was a port pets, the port beside them. And the place was fun night here today. And a lot of the musicians that you have here tonight, and we'll see them as the night goes on, yeah. you told me they're all the musicians who supported you in all your fundraising yes, efforts. Yes, Tell yes, us a bit yes. about that. Well, they played for nothing a lot of them. And which is very important to me because I'm always looking for money for children. <laughs> and you know, um, I'm collecting now 28 years, year in and year out. And Danny Hunt comes and Larry McAvoy, uh, you know, the ones that can't make it tonight. And that means a lot to me because when you go to Dublin, see all the sick children, they say, oh my God. Well, so far I've raised 160,000. <laughs>
17. And I'd say you weren't a bit oh, shy. I was shy and innocent. <laughs> but you know, I my ten brothers and sisters there. I was told you were as cracked as a hair. I was, I was, but you know, we got great upbringing. And so we went out into that big world. And how innocent we all were. We all made out great. We got jobs. People appreciated our work. We were good workers. Good models for America. God bless Ireland. How long were you there? I was there nine years. Oh, sure, I loved it. I had a great time. <laughs> did, did we specify that Kitty is a West Clare exile here oh, in East Clare? Oh, oh, yes. and, and I love to sit up in the ditch and look down over the fields. See the cows and the horses. We could jump up on their back and take off down the field. Hey, anyway, we have ditches and fields here as well. Huh? With ditches and fields. And they're heavier, but they're different. <laughs> 
was only that year politician. I'm afraid when I come home then from America, we hit off to Cora Clare and no one had motor cars. But, How know, did you travel so? Oh, well, my brother and Mighty Kelly had a motor car and they put about 15 of us in. <laughs> I met Pat then going to the doctor. Oh, look at the glint in her eye. And I was sick. Yeah, I was sick. I was going up and down to Dr. Hillary every second day, every second week, and he gave me fish to tablets. And I should have been taking them at all. But anyway, I got better. We got married, and we have eight, eight children. And there's four of them here and four of them back in the States. And when you came home from America, we'd have a big party that night and they'd be bringing in hens and chickens and <laughs> cooking and big sweet loaf to six, seven inches high. <laughs> and that round. And of course, raisins were rations, you couldn't get them. <laughs> but they'd have this big sweet loaf. And then they'd have the piece of bacon, a flinch of bacon, outside in the corner with dashes. Up and up and down out of it. But anyway, my mother, now when we'd have the party that night, Paula, my mother had cut a piece of this bacon, boiled it off in the sauce and get the salt out of it, and then fry it with eggs. And all the musicians, Bobby, Casey, and the whole lot of them, get a feed before they left home. Our house, they had to go home to make town all bad. And they'd be down again the following night. But the girls were thinking. And I'm sure their parents were given out because they were in our house when they should be out saving their fields. And, you know, that's, anyway, that's so musicians' view. Fantastic story. Yes, they are. Great story.